Good day, friends. Welcome back to Skyrim. So, um, I guess I'm supposed to speak to her, you know, uh, like always. I feel like I start every single episode <laughs> with speaking to someone, and literally that's what I do for 80% of the episode. Anyway, soon you'll be able to go home to Cyrodiil. Aren't you looking forward to that? It's so cold in the mountains. We could never have afforded to live in the Imperial City, Coral, or Jaden Hall. Leowood was too far south. When I was a little girl, we kids would sneak out of the walls of the city and head south into the Great Forest. The trees were so huge, Dragonborn. In the mornings or towards the evening, the mist would rise from the ground. It had an amazing, mystical feel about it. At times, we were sure we could see faces in the trees, and at any moment, they would come to life. <laughs> we would scare ourselves and just run and run. My dad, he would come look for us. He would blow a Nordic horn, and we knew it was time to go home. He would be waiting for me, with a smile on his face, and would start slowly jogging back to our house. I would try to race him, but no matter how fast I ran, I could never catch up. I would be so scared he would scold me, but he never did, ever. You must miss him so much. And then it all turned to crap. Come on. Let's move on. Okay, then. You know, I used to enjoy long walks as a kid. As soon as we got out of Bruma, away from the snow, we would take off our shoes, just so we could feel the ground under our feet. You know we could run, Rigmore. We could really do that. We would never go too far down the valley, you know, where the lake was. But we would make dens and tree houses. And as soon as I saw Riften, you know, I fell in love with it right away. Why are we walking into the middle of the forest? It reminds me of home so much. Not Bruma. She's so silent, I can't. The forest and stuff. A good long walk helps me focus. She's Blow so out silent. The cobwebs. I swear I'm I can trying, barely hear her. Born. Believe me, I'm trying. What? Is that the person sleeping or is he dead? A dead Imperial soldier. Interesting. Oh, another dead one. Wonder who killed them. Did I do that? No, I never fought any of them before here, right? Or did the bear kill them? <laughs> That's kind of funny, though. Okay, how far? We're still so far away from Rift, and I can't. Like I'm trying to make my episodes longer. I mean, I've definitely made them longer. <sighs> but this is so boring to me. Spiders. Oh. <laughs> he just shot you with his web. Or she, I don't know. Boop. Talos Wilson. Well, I think I can see Riften in the distance, but my god. Oh, and honestly, before I forget, I should favorite beast form and equip it. And remember to use it, cause um, I really want to level up my werewolf form. And you know, I have to battle in it to do that, so... 
Honestly, I should just turn into a werewolf and clear some random caves. Would probably give me some experience, right? Like it, but I can't really do that with this girl, you know. Well, right now, at least. Look, a mill. Rigmar, could you walk faster? This is hell to me right now. I remember being like, you know, she's so slow, she can't catch me, and now I have to. I'm being forced to walk beside her to freaking Riften. What, Rigmar? What? What's up? You know you said back in Winterhold you needed to speak with Malsum about business. What did the old Altmer want? Did it concern me? He just wanted to make sure you were being looked after, that's all. Are you sure? Therese was being a bit weird, you know. Yeah, I thought they were both a bit weird. Yeah, <laughs> so did I. But you didn't answer my question. He was concerned for your welfare, that's all. <sighs> Why is everyone so concerned about me? Because you're a fragile little snowflake. Because you're not well, not yourself. <laughs> right. Her feet must hurt after having to walk through this gravel and stones and whatever. Well, I guess that's why she's walking on grass. It's a bit better, I think, right? I might as well enjoy the views. Look, soldiers. Riften soldiers, right? Well, I feel like they would be from Riften. Since they're patrolling near it. Yep. Oh my god, we're almost there. Oh, yeah, I have no idea how happy I am. Honestly, I shouldn't have asked her anything. You know, if she wanted to come with me, I should have just went to Riften, gathered the stuff needed for the doll and you know would have been on my way back to the farm but no i just had to take her with there me there once was a hero named ragnar the red who came riding to white run from aurorik's death honestly i should just s speak to lucian in one of the episodes because haven't done that yet and i feel <laughs> like he would have Come some on. unique dialogue or something what well at least we're running now which there's no points since, you know. That's quite a view, huh? Well, it's certainly a fitting end to a very long journey. How does it make you feel? You know, sitting here by the lake? I feel kind of relaxed, I guess. Look at the water, Dragonborn. It's crystal clear, cold, inviting. Well, cold and inviting the aren't the really. The water lapping you know. on the bank makes me feel liberated. Uh, the light reflecting on the surface is like, like music to me. All the answers to every question asked bounces in that light. Look too deep, you don't see anything. It's all dark. But for the light on the surface.
So what do you see? What do I see? Okay. Look out over the lake, then close your eyes. I see beautiful green fields of grass and golden fields of wheat only made brighter by the sun. The faint scent of melons is in the air, along with crickets chirping and birds singing. A little girl is running through a wheat field, making deep tracks as her hands brush against its ears. She realizes they're prickly, and she laughs, and a little dog runs alongside, barking with excitement. A farmer is shaking his fist, but she keeps running, laughing louder and louder. Life is a thrill. The sun is setting, and she doesn't really care about anything. She makes her way up the cold, icy stream with her little friend through the brambles and thick evergreen. It isn't even her dog. It just wanted to play, to jump into the icy pool and fetch the stick. The deep golden rays of the dying sun, its red fingers softly caress all it touches. As the little girl, once again feeling the cold oh, of the snow under her leather. bare feet, awesome. heads towards the huge shadow of a man that has come to meet her. His face cracked with the biggest of smiles, and she runs and jumps full pelt, her arms outstretched into the dark, smothering the safety of his loving arms. Okay, very poetic, very beautiful. That was amazing. No. You are amazing. Oh my god. Well, we still have to go to Riften. We had better be going. Come on, let's go. Oh my god, finally we can visit the market. Can we just... I'm going to sprint over there because I don't want to walk anymore. God damn it. Oh, finally. Okay. Let's see. I suppose I see soldiers. Hopefully they're just random. She looks different. Oh, anyway, what was I supposed to do? Nothing. Um. Can I interest you in some fine goods from Morrowind? I feel like you might have the items I need. Okay, no, my god, did it. Keep I can still ask about the dress that I have given to her more. Perhaps I'll write a book about it one day. From a distance, that is. What am I supposed to do? Who am I supposed to do? Oh my god, I'm stuck. Oh, if you're looking for a handout, what can I you want to speak with Greetings, my honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine I'm jewelry? For a necklace. Do you have anything with garnets? Just what you see here. Let's see what he has. Nothing good. <laughs> I think I found gold earrings Since before, but they look strider. weird when I put them on. Like huge you gonna buy something earrings. Or you just know. here for training. Otherwise, move on. Don't have to be so rude. See for yourself. Let's see. Cyrodiilic hide armor. Nope. Nothing interesting. Nothing that I need. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Yes, hello. Okay, let's have anything you has. wish to sell? I pay fair prices for all sorts of goods. <sighs> yes, as usual. Fresh meat to make just what you see here. Or crush your enemies to dust like a giant. Only a mere twenty gold coins, and all this could be yours. Well, nobody has anything that I would need. Keep your eyes to so the Am I road. supposed to speak with Rugmar, maybe? Hey, take a look around. Yeah, I'll grab what I need and come get you. That would be cool. Uh, we never got a chance last time we were here. What is it you need? Oh, just a few bits and bobs. Okay. My husband, Bercy, will be the death of me. Oh, he spends too much time worrying about, about again. Riften and not Can enough I interest you in some fine goods from Morrowind? Sorry, Lady Zinnia, but I've been busy. Everything I've got on display, really. Did his inventory change? 
No. Keep your eyes to the road. Let's try the Argo. Come see me in the market if you're looking for the finest. I doubt that the jeweler would have, you know, items for a. Safe travels, land striker. Speak to the beggar, okay. Hi. Who are you and what do you want? Name's Jimmy Ten Fingers, at your service. You looking for a good bargain? I got just what you might need. A gold necklace. All legit. It's just, I need some gold quickly, like. Poor old Artie, she took a nasty fall, you see. I need to help her get her back on her feet. Basically, you need skooma or alcohol. Sorry, I don't need a gold necklace right now. Oh well, if you can't find what you're looking for, give me a shout. I can guarantee to get you what you need and pretty pronto. What is it you want, some skooma? Nothing like that. I need to make a doll. I'm hoping to find the items here. Ah, kid's doll. So you're looking to make a doll for your daughter? I mean, she's, she's not my daughter, so... I don't really want to call her someone special, but I don't want to call her my daughter as well. Oh god, okay then. No, nothing like that. It's for someone special to me. Like I said, I'm your man. I'm guessing then it's for the girl you arrive with. Tell you what, tell me what you need, I'll get the stuff. But you take the necklace off me hands as well. I'll do you a good deal. Can't come all the way to Rifton Market and leave empty handed now. I'm sure your pretty little friend would appreciate it. You got a deal, Jimmy. How much for the necklace? Sin is unfair and all charitable. It's yours for a hundred gold. Oh, that's not a lot. Okay, I need a piece of sackcloth, wooden dowling, and some yellow string. Hang about here. I'll be back in a jiffy. Well, I guess I'll wait how I always wait. One hour? Like a saber cat, or mm -hmm. crush your enemies to dust Nothing's like a happening. Giant. Only a mere twenty gold coins, and all this good. Yours. Yeah, he's back. Hey. Hey, Jimmy, you got my stuff? They don't call me ten fingers for nothing. Here you go. Can't hang about. Need to attend to my boat. Need anything else sometime? You know where to find me. I hope that doesn't mean things are going to get worse around here. Of Learn course I'm carrying too much for some have to give some stuff to Lucian. Sure, Dragon let's try. Maybe. Great. Let's get moving. Where is there more? Beautiful baubles and gleaming gemstones over hey, here. Hey, you enjoying it here? You know, if I ever had to choose between Bruma or Ripton, that would be a hard call. Well, I don't want to be that person, so let's be nicer to her, I guess, or at least try. You could stay here, you don't have to go back to Cyrodiil. What? I got what I need. You see anything you like? Nah, I'm all good. Well, I got you something. I won't have you leave Riften Market empty-handed. Oh my days, Dragonborn. It's beautiful. Thank you. Watch it belong to someone important. You're most welcome. Come on, time to head back. Dragonborn, we've been walking all day and my and who legs made me are do tired. That? And we could have ridden our horses. Hey, race you back. Oh, har har. It's okay, just kidding. I know just the man. He has a boat. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's talk to Jimmy. Where is he? Down here somewhere. Let's try to take the stairs now. Just probably jump over this. Okay. Oh, I'm alive. Hi. Hey, Jimmy. Looking to make a little more coin? Where you headed? It's a small farm just across the lake. What's in it for me? Don't worry. I'll make it worth your while. Come aboard. Nice. Is that a bear over there? Okay. I don't know about you, but I enjoyed our day out today. Yeah, that was quite something, right? 
Come on, let's go inside and get some rest. Sure. Probably shouldn't be following her, I can just enter the farm, I feel like. Oh, Ingle is here. Hey. They're here, aren't they? They've already taken Marthal, as far as we know. A battalion of enemy Bosmer auxiliaries are already heading for Dragon Bridge. And advance units are in the mountain pass heading straight for Whiterun. Are we in position? Cassius and I immediately moved our men to the designated ground outside Whiterun. Get back to Whiterun and join Cassius. I'll follow you shortly. Consider it I know it's Cassius, friend. but I always say Cassius. I don't know why. Okay, Seth, are you sure? Fear not. I feel like the end is coming and I'm so happy. Sethry, if we lose, I want you to get everyone safe. I'm counting on you. Lose? Counting on I'm you. I'm afraid Sorry. it's a little too late for that. You see, everyone is counting on you, Dragonborn. And I don't mean just Rigmore or Sigon, or even Angie and Sorella. Can you imagine the fate that awaits the people of Skyrim if you lose? Even if me does defeat the army in the south. How long will it take him to muster the force to dislodge Adriath from the strongholds, if at all he can? I'll wager he'll just fortify his northern border and try to be all diplomatic. He'll cut Skyrim loose. Let's face it, Skyrim's expendable. A mountainous, cold, desolate place filled with dissent and unrest. This barren land will become the beginnings of a new dominion of an elven god-king in waiting. No, losing is not an option. Only do or die, Dragonborn. Do or die. And on that light note, I think I'll hit the sack. Well, thank you for that light note, Sethry. I feel much better now. Just go out there and do what you do. Ingol, Baron, and all those brave men and women out there believe in you. They would follow you into hell if you commanded it. They all know you went into oblivion and came out alive, that you kicked ass. Do you know what they're calling you out there? No, what are they calling me, Sethry? Guardian General. Oh my god, what is Don't underestimate yourself, my friend. Even if they have the numbers, it doesn't give them a victory. By a long chalk. It's all about the morale, terrain, weather, taking risks, and of course, a bit of luck. Seize the moment, Dragonborn. Thank you, Sethry. I mean it. As it happens, if by perchance you do lose and your head finds a nice new home on the battlements of Whiterun, I have a nice little bolt hole in Morrowind where I'll be happy to take all my current residents I have living here. So don't you worry now. Sethry, get out of here. As you wish, Dragonborn. As you wish. Okay, I'm ready to fight, but I do kind of feel underprepared in a way. Make the doll for Rigmore now, really? We have to go to it. Um, I should probably put a lot of the items that I have um, onto my horse. Where is my horse? Over here. Uh, before I do anything else. What's in the sack? Let's see. Okay, let me put away this great sword. A random arrow. You know what, I'll put away the dagger as well. The regular cloak. Oops, as well. Do have a lot of potions which are taking up inventory space. I forget, I forgot to make food. My god, why do I always forget stuff like that? Um, anything else? Why do you have suckle? Oh, for the doll. Okay. Let's see now. Oh, there's a workbench table thingy over here. Oh, that was quick.
Brugmore. I know you haven't been well lately, but there's some things I need to see. Dragonborn, it's okay. You don't have to. No, please, hear me out. I'm sorry. Farmers are very trusting I know it's not been Skyrim. easy, but I'm here I mean, for you because we are a team. I'm sorry I let you down. All that matters to me is that you're safe and well, and to hell with them all. Thank you. I need to take care of something, but before I go, I have something for you. You have? What is it? I want you to have this. <gasps> Jenny! Oh my god. Well, I'm glad that you're happy. Good luck with your life and whatever. I'm going to die, apparently. Nah, probably won't. Will I? Oh, we'll see. Travel to the field command post outside Whiterun. Let's, let's fast travel to the stables, maybe. Wait a second. Um, first of all, I want to save uh, my game. I don't know why I never press F5. It's like a thing that I do that I go to the menu to quick save. I, I don't know. And of course, we're here in the middle of the night. So I hope we'll finish the quest for this mod soon, because I feel like the end is coming again. But, oh my god, it's a long mod, definitely, which normally I would like a lot, but again, as I always say, too much talking. Okay. Gentlemen. I see Ingle on a horse, Cassius as well. Well met, Dragonborn. Gun. The enemy forces consist of a Bosmer Auxiliary Battalion, a Mercenary Orc Brigade, a detachment of Dark Elven Archers, and a New Order Infantry Division. An Orc Brigade has dug itself in on the pale border opposite my encampment, just as we suspected they would. The sooner we start cracking skulls, the better. General, Captain Quintus Vitalis, second in command and advisor to General Varro. As you can see from the map, the enemy have split into three forces. A Nork Brigade, mostly mercenaries, are deployed east from here adjacent to our Imperial encampment on the border of the Pale. These are indicated in the top right corner of the map. West, we have a Bosma Auxilia Battalion, composed of two companies. Red and white indicates archers, red, infantry. They have dug themselves in at Dragon Bridge, indicated in the top left of the map. We believe these forces are deployed in these positions to halt any attempt of the garrisons at Solitude and Windhelm from sallying forth, effectively protecting the rear of the main enemy force. Adjacent to us, the larger force consists of a new order infantry division, and a dark elven archer battalion of two companies. Runners have been sent to watch for any changes or movement from both the Bosma at Dragon Bridge or the Orcs on the Pale Border. You will be notified of any changes during the battle. We can wait for them to come to us. I'll hold them with the shield wall. Cassius can bring his legion in on their left flank. Or I can charge them with my men, pin them down while the legion outflanks them. We would need to draw the main body of troops forward, commit them to the battle. If we wait too long, the Bosma could traverse on our left flank. I would wager, once you engage the Dark Elven Archers, the enemy command will commit. They won't want to waste the numerical advantage, or risk a rout. Either way, we need to work fast, before they can bring their Bosma battalion from Dragon Bridge. We have nothing to hold them off with if they do that, and Whiterun will fall. Is Rigmore with you? One second. Which one am I supposed to speak with? What is it? What is it? She's too unwell. A shadow of her former self. 
Sorry, Cassius, I won't allow it. I see. The sons of Talos won't fight without Rigmor, but their presence at my camp and Cassius's reserves will keep the enemy orc brigade occupied. Guardian General, it would be wise that you remain here at the field command post until General Varon receives your orders for the Legion to advance. We are in position. Should we attack first, or wait for them to begin the battle? It's your call, Guardian. Well, I want to deal with this quickly. You know what? I will make this episode super long. Hey. Ingle, you know your men best. You are the one who should decide. Good choice. Hey, Cassius. Just like old times, huh, you old goat? Aye, you old fox. Let's hope the gods are as favorable now as they were then. Be well. I don't want to have to come save your ass all over again. In this present scenario, it seems the fortunes of war are reversed, and it will be I who is saving your ass. Take care, old friend. Well, he's going away. Okay, Cassius, are we supposed to what speak? Is it? No, not yet. Stormcloaks, on me! Let's show these skiver whelps how real men fight. Okay, Cassius, aren't we supposed to do something or are we supposed to wait for them to? That's the call for the enemy to advance. The enemy command has now committed its main force. General Stormblade won't be able to hold them off indefinitely. Wait for the runner. Who is the runner? Where is the runner? Whose horse is this? Quintus. Um... Should I just wait for an hour, maybe? Well, I don't see anyone running towards us, so I don't know what's supposed to happen. Should we speak? What is it? Well, how long am I suppo supposed to wait? You know? Hmm. Kinda catchy. Well, man, what's the report? Guardian General, the Bosma have left Dragon Bridge and are advancing towards us. Thank you, soldier. Keep me informed of the situation. Yes, ma'am. Hey. Now is your time, Cassius. We need that serpent's head. It will be my honor to deliver it. Seems like he's having difficulty riding towards his troops. Legion to advance in rank and file on the left flank. Advance! Guardian General. Quintus, what's the situation? Guardian General, this official correspondence has just arrived via courier. Read the letter, then inform Quintus. Let's see. Is it long? Well, not really. Dragonborn, I have just received some important news. After, lear after learning of the invasion here in Skyrim, Mead sent his army north of the Imperial City as a ruse. The enemy southern army group, thinking Mead's legions were heading north, crossed the border from elsewhere into Cyrodiil. Mead's legions traversed and struck the battle for the south, south ensues. 
The news from the Isle is the New Order coup has failed, and all top-level New Order activists have been arrested in Eleanor. I will keep you informed of the battle, Barandar. The coup in Eleanor has failed, the battle in the south has begun. Let us hope the gods favor us well. The runners coming again. Well, any news? Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Oh, don't be like that. Your report? Guardian General, behind us, another army approaches. Is it the orcs? It's too early to tell. If it is, all is lost. Is it the orcs? I need to know now. Go and find out. Yes, ma'am. How long have we got? It's bad. The Bosma are almost upon us. Guardian General, it's Bruma. It's Rigmore of Bruma. What? Did she come with an army? That would be oh she just rode on her. Hello. Rigmore. Didn't think I would leave you out here all on your own, did you? That little girl? The one in my dreams? <sighs> it was you, wasn't it? You saw her again? She was waiting for me to give her Jenny. That's what she wanted in return. Was the dream completed? I gave her the doll and took the sword and crossed the line in the dirt that she had drawn with it. She was laughing, and when I looked around, she was gone. I awoke and was whole again. But you wanted to change. I accept that. I can't escape my past, Dragonborn. I am what I am. What I was destined to be. There's no use in hiding or running away. Fate always tracks you down and finds you. You just need to be pretty damn sure you're ready for what it has in store. I realize that now. Who knows what tomorrow brings for us? But for now? For now we have a war to win. What are your orders, Guardian General? The Basmer must not join up with their main force. Okay. When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Okay, if I know the way Barandar is here, everybody's here. Interesting. Sons and daughters of Talos! Oh, she's there just making everybody fight. Mm -hmm. Inspiring her troops. Barandar, what are you doing here? Dragonborn, Dragonborn. Titus Me the second has crushed the enemy army in the south. What did you say? Titus Me the second has crushed the enemy in the south. After learning of the invasion here in Skyrim, Me sent his army north of the Imperial City. The enemy southern army group crossed the border from elsewhere into Cyrodiil. The news from the Isle is the coup has failed, and all top-level New Order activists are arrested. The enemy command is leaving the field! Guardian General, I will hold here. You may wish to help personally on the field. It will enhance our morale greatly. Now is your time, Dragon Boy. Well then, let me put on my helmet. Quick save and head into battle. I wish it wasn't raining, but oh well. I might make this episode an hour long. We shall see. It's been a it's been a while since I've done something like that. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Die! 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 
Rigmore wounded. Ow. Okay. Rigmore, I'm coming. I need you. Whatever. Well, she killed a few at least. You all right? Rigmore. Dragonborn. Did he get away? Probably, like always. Rigmore, you're hurt. I'm okay, Dragonborn. Don't let him get away. What is it? Ingle, do we have any prisoners? Any officers? As a matter of fact, yes. Give me some time to interrogate him. I'll find out where that scum sucker went. Mister, sir, could you not stand on Rigmore? Oh god. It's okay, we're going to get you out of here. I'll be fine. There once was a hero named Lucian Flavius, who's singing and writing and looking like a marvelous. Barandar, get Rigmore out of here. I need to take care of something. I'll take her back to the farmhouse to rest and recover. Take care, Dragonborn. Any luck? Yeah, the captured field command officer informed us they were headed for Blacklight Tower on the coast, waiting to be picked up by boat, headed for Morrowind. He's not alone. This is something I need to do alone. You and Cassius are needed here. Then I guess this is goodbye. Engel, what will you do now? After this, my soldiering days are over. Angie wants me to join her in the mountains. Help bring Sorella. Oh, she's in love with you, isn't she? She's a fine woman, Guardian. I think I've at least earned the right to live in peace. Anyway, they'll need protection, so I intend to build a proper home for them. For us. Take care, old friend. Goodbye, Guardian. It's been an honor to fight alongside you. If you ever need me for anything, you know where to find me. What is it? What about you? I shall retire from the Legion, maybe see what adventures and fortunes are to be had on the high seas. That's something I always wanted to try, or sell my sword to the highest bidder. If you ever need my help, seek me out by the Solitude docks. I'll remember that offer, Cassius. It's been an honor to know you, Dragonborn. Farewell, until next time. Okay, again we need to speak with Quintus. What about you, Quintus? Now you're in command. Guardian General, I strongly advise you to rethink going alone to Blacklight Tower. It will undoubtedly oh, I'm be used heavily to guarded. It, Quintus. For all we know, the Orc Brigade might still be at large, or have retreated there awaiting evacuation. What do you suggest? We should take what we have left of our forces. We travel to General Valoran's camp to gather any information and be prepared for a fight. Quintus, have the men assemble and ready to leave as soon as possible. Yes, General. So are we Dragonborn. listening to him? Dragonborn, she won't go. <laughs> no, she's I a stubborn one. It. Well, at least she's walking. You know, and not uh, heavily wounded. Rigmar, I want you safely out of here. Dragonborn, he's getting away. Let's go after him. Rigmar, we all need to stick together. Really? You you could do this on your own, and, and you know it. Let's end this. You know what? Honestly, uh, traveling to Cassius camp might be the safer option, but I'm not one to do that. Maybe you're right. Go and get ready, I'll inform Quintus. Right. Greetings. Old friend, let Sigan know we are fine and not to worry. We will join you later. 
Be careful, Dragonborn. This one hopes it is not too long before we are united. We're just going to somewhere over there in the middle of the field. When did he travel there? Quintus, I am taking Rigmore to Blacklight Tower right away. Then take my sergeants as well. I don't want them. You have done enough. Rest your soldiers here and reinforce White Run. As you order. Take care of yourself, Quintus. It has been an honor, General. Farewell. Okay, let's travel to Blacklight Tower then. Where is it? Somewhere really far away. I guess I'll head to the stables of Windhelm. Since they seem to be the closest to, to, to that place. Okay, so I guess I will... Uh, where's my horse? Hop on my horse um, and make my way to the tower. If anything interesting happens, obviously I will not cut out the... Oh, Lucian's summoning his horse, but... Rigmar doesn't have her horse or... I see. Let's not stay. Wait a second. Where's your horse? I'm sorry. Hope the supplies get here soon. Must be all right if you have time to complain. Well, her horse is near. I don't know why she's not using it. Anyway, I'll make my way to the tower. Okay, so I think I see the tower in the distance. Some kind of ship. Summon Rigmore. They should have Lucian's ball thing. Ow, ow, ow! Stop fighting! I could use my werewolf form. Well, Should I try it? Like it? I didn't think so. No. Yeah, I. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I should have uh, transformed, then attacked them. Maybe it would have turned out differently. But they might honestly be just too strong for me right now. Let's see. Do I have? Uh, let's see, first fear with fire breath. Ow! Take huh. this! I'll be ah. real fire breath! Yeah. Oh. One second. One oh, Rigmore is fighting some people over there, probably. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Okay. <laughs> you have a poison paralysis, sure. Yeah. I'll show you a real. I wish I could first row die, no? Oh my god, run shot! I 
she drink a stamina potion. Okay, we're doing progress. Slowly, but, you know. with them we have the reinforced partner sets and a lot of arrows so I shall end this episode right here then uh, we will enter the tower in the next one um, I do hope you enjoyed this because it, it's a long one and if you did please like and subscribe I would appreciate it a lot and I shall see you next time hope you have a very great day goodbye